Welcome back to another exciting episode of Flag Down. Today we've got World War II. Now, if you remember from the previous episode, you know, that this is not the uh, correct World War II flag for the United States. There's not enough flag on it. But nonetheless, the United States was part of World War II. The United States joined in 1939. World War II had started in 1933. And these guys had been in the battle since 1933. Okay, it's not wanting to... Anyway, this is the, the Third French Republic until its defeat there's another version of France that fights on the Axis, and we will get that. We'll get to that later. Another country that fought on the Allied side. No, it's not New Zealand. It's the Australian flag. The New Zealand flag doesn't have this over here. This is the flag of Australia. Australia actually fought during World War Two. Declaring war against the Empire of Japan. They fought as their own country, but these guys also fought. The United Kingdom. And in case you, uh, Yep, there's somebody's signature there, which I already mentioned in the previous video. If you don't remember, if you don't remember it, or don't know about who that is, go watch that video. The United Kingdom, they fought along with some other countries, such as South Africa. Yep, South Africa actually did fight. They had troops involved in World War Two. Not a lot, but they had. Some. Canada! Oh, Canada! They also had troops fight during World War II. Uh, especially the, what, what is it called? The uh, Royal Mounted Fusiliers, I believe. Or Royal Canadian Fusiliers, I think, was one of the brigades. But there was a lot of Canadians that actually fought during World War II as Canadian troops, not as troops of, the, of Great Britain or the United Kingdom or the British Empire. They fought as their own thing. We also got Belgium. Obviously, they're in Europe. They had soldiers fighting against the Nazis. As well as, yep, another European country that fought in World War II. Albania. Yep. Albania fought. Alright. Albania joined in 1944 on the Allied side. In 1945, Uruguay joined. As well as Turkey. Turkey joined in 1945 on the Allied side. Another country that joined in 1945. Egypt, because I was probably unraveling it. People probably only actually seen with some sort of German flag. No, this is a flag of Egypt. They joined 1945, as so did Syria. Now, unfortunately, I do not have a Syrian flag from 1940s. This is the current Syrian flag. I believe this is the the current. Syrian flag, although they've changed their flag relatively three times in the last ten years, because I, I know it was two stars and then with three stars, and then uh, then they added the um, script between the stars. But nonetheless, this is the current flag of Syria, because I don't have a '40s Syrian flag, which was different. It had like it was there was a diamond shape on this side. 
Another country, however, that did join in 1945, to get back on this, the actual topic, Saudi Arabia. Yep, Saudi Arabia joined in 1945. Now, getting to the axis. You're going, whoa, 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 Why you got the Soviet Union on the axis side? Because they were. Soviet Union actually was axis until Operation Barbarossa, where Hitler turned on him. Which was like 19... 37 or 38, something like that. But the United, the Union of Socialist Soviet Republics, which used this flag, was actually part of the Axis. Hell, Poland was divided between Nazi Germany and Soviet Russia. Okay. So, that's why they're in between. Because at one point, you know, they switch back and forth. They, they changed sides. They didn't switch back and forth, but they did change sides. So, but, the true Axis country, the Empire of Japan. And you can really see some shading underneath it. The PSS is also the current uh, flag of Japan. This is the naval jack of the Empire of Japan. And also the naval jack of the Japanese naval defense, which is their current navy. <clears throat> Another Japanese flag. You can't. This uh, that lettering is getting cut off. We'd make a little bit of an adjustment. All right. This is the Kamikaze flag. Okay, but it's Japanese. This is the flag of the Kingdom of Italy, but then in 44 to 45 it becomes the, the Italian Socialist Republic of Italy, which used this flag, okay? Because apparently that's considered to be a fascist emblem, I don't, I don't know, I'm not fascist. Now, I have no Nazi flag, so... That's not going to be the next flag. But there's one flag here. The next flag. It may look similar to another flag. Yep. Go on, wait, that's a French flag with a red cross in it. Because it's the flag of Vichy France. After France falls, the southern part becomes a, a co-belligerent to the Axis powers as Vichy France, because that's where the government's housing was set up in Vichy, whereas anything that was involving Paris was controlled by the Nazis, whereas a smaller section of the country and the colonies in Africa were run by Vichy France, and this was their flag. And that is the end of that collection. So, do a thumbs up if you're happy I don't have a swastika flag, or any Nazi flag. If you thought that any of that was uh, interesting, flags you've never seen before, do a thumbs up. Hit the like button if you liked it. Leave me a comment. Tell me if you were caught off guard by that last one. Or any of the other flags in the collection. You can follow me on Twitter as an surprise without the E because the name was too damn long. Follow, you can help the channel grow if you want to do so through Patreon. If you haven't subscribed, please do. You will see more of these videos. Until that next time, thank you for watching. Goodbye.